Well, it looks like temperatures are going to be a little bit chilly today. They kind of are. The weekend, Perhaps, right? Yeah, maybe drink to, or have, drink. Have some chili. <laughs> unless you want to make it a slurry. You can drink the chili. Yeah, there you go. You might go. have to chew a little bit in between, but. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever works for your boat. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, it is going to be a cold one. Today, matter of fact, will be uh, the coldest day of the entire winter because so far, just take a look at some of these temperatures. These are the coldest high temperatures in the Fox Valley. It's been very mild. December 25th, that was Christmas Day. That was the coldest high temperature in the Fox Valley, 22. Well, today, we might not even get to near 20. Right now, it is in the lower teens and single digits. Anago at 6, 9 in Pembine. We've got lower teens across the Fox Valley, mid-teens along the shoreline. But then when you got these winds coming in, there was a frontal boundary that moved in a cold front, and behind it, some breezy winds out of the northwest, about 5 to 15 miles per hour, making feel like temperatures down near and below zero. But not a cold enough to issue a wind chill advisory. We've seen a lot colder weather across northeast Wisconsin in the past winters, just not much this winter. So for the rest of today, we'll be seeing temperatures near and below zero for the wind chill, starting to get a little bit of improvement, but still feeling like five degrees later on in the evening hours. So it's just going to be a cold day overall. The sun should help, though. We did see a little bit of some clouds right now in the early morning hours, but with high pressure moving in here, we're going to be staying nice and quiet and dry. An area of low pressure right now making its arrival over northern part of California. That area of low pressure will be providing us with some snowfall late tomorrow night into Sunday morning. So I think most of us will be seeing a pretty quiet day for on tap tomorrow. Even same thing for today. Here we go throughout the afternoon, evening, mostly sunny as you get into the overnight. Same thing here, starting off the day nice and sunny for your Saturday, but then the clouds start to build in here by the afternoon. It doesn't look like the snow arrives until real late Saturday night when most of us are heading to sleep. While we are sleeping into early Saturday morning or Sunday morning, I should say, that's when the snow is moving through by Sunday, right around lunchtime or so. That snow should be moving out of our area. Accumulation wise, I'm thinking a wide range about one to three inches, but there could certainly be a few locations to get closer to about three or four inches of snowfall. A couple of those isolated, so not a big snow, but just enough to cover the grass after having that melt off over the last couple of days. 17 for a high wind chills near zero. We'll have northwest winds five to 15. That for tonight will drop down to close to zero. Some locations wouldn't be surprised to be below zero overnight tomorrow, starting off sunny. And then the clouds start to build in here, 22 degrees. Seven day forecast, we'll get up to near 30 degrees on Sunday with that light snowfall ending. Snow should be out of here before the Packers start to play. So if they you know, have to clean out the field, no problems. And then afterwards, it looks like a little quiet stretch of weather with highs in the upper 20s. Not too bad for this time of year. Yeah, definitely not. But I mean, today, make sure you bundle up. 17, yeah. just nah, that's a little too cold. Just a tad. All right, thanks, Gino. Up next is...